I said, this is the Holy Bible. Right? Yes, this, this is that Holy Bible. I said, what do you call it? Ya yeah, Sheikh, what do you call this? What would you call it? Injil, yes. That's what they said. I said, what do you call it, you Sudanese? He said, Injil. I said, right. No, I said, now what you do? Come on, come on. First book of the Bible called Genesis. Open it. So they opened. Everybody. Got it? Find chapter 19. Got it? He says, got it. I said, verse 30. Got it? He says, got it. I said, right. Read. So he reads two verses. I said, next one. Now read, read. Continue. Continue. That's Injil. You're getting horrified. Wallah. It is so easy to deal with the enemy. This book here. This is the scud missile he's throwing at you, pushing it down your throat. You now reverse this, send it back to him. And I tell you, this few, I gave them few reference. Genesis chapter 19, verse 30 onwards. He speaks about Lut salam and his two daughters. Night after night they seduce the father and they collect, they have sex with the father and they beget bastard children from the father. Lut alayhi salam. Astaghfirullah. Chapter 35, verse 22, was open, see. Right. Read it. Reuben, one of the sons of Yaqub alayhi salam, he go and cohibits with his mother on the roof. Genesis, still first book, don't go far, man. Chapter 38, read, verse 15 or so onwards. Judah, the father of the Jewish race, he goes and commits incest with his daughter-in-law by the roadside and begets bastard children from her. This is the Holy Bible. Not only that, but Allah ta'ala himself, what he does to Ibrahim's wife, Sarah. Do you want me to read it? Do you want to hear what Allah does to her? Listen, this is the Holy Bible I'm reading to you. You don't know, so therefore they push it down your throat. I want to arm our people. I said, look man, once you know what this guy is offering you, you will know how to defend yourself. And that guy will run for life. He comes to your house, want to talk about the Bible. He says, you know, what does the Quran say about uh, uh, the Yawm al Qiyamah? Will it be established here or somewhere in the heavens? What does your Quran say? Look, bulk of us, we know nothing. Wallah, we know nothing. One third of the Quran speaks about heaven, hell and hereafter. How many of us are equipped? Do you know what, the, what, where will this earth, the new world will be established? Where? Here or there in heaven? Where? What does the Quran say? I said, look, my brothers, don't enter into that. Admit it, that I don't know. Even me. I said, look, I don't know. If you want to know, go to Sheikh bin Baz or go to my Sheikh or Imam. He will tell you, I don't know. I'm ashamed. I'm a Muslim. I don't know. But I take it. You know your Bible. He's getting it. He said, of course. No Christian coming with a Bible with him. He said, no. He doesn't. Say, what the hell are you coming and asking me about the Quran? You don't know your own Bible? You don't talk to me about the Quran? He says, yes, of course. He said, can I have a look? Take the Bible. Open Genesis chapter 19, verse 30. Ask him to read it. And please explain to me what these daughters are doing to the father. Huh? Genesis chapter 35, verse 22. He said, look what the son is doing to his mother. Huh? What this father-in-law is doing to his daughter-in-law by the roadside. That guy will never darken your door. And he'll be so terrified of Muslims. Is Muslims? Leave him alone. Let's look for a Hindu or a Buddhist. He'll never come to your door. I said about God. Allah bari ta'ala, astaghfirullah. Let's see what he does to, to Sarah. What he does. I'm only reading, you know, to save time. I don't want to call one of you to come and read. But I'm reading Genesis chapter 21, verse 1. Don't go far. Genesis, first book of the Bible, chapter 21, ayah number 1. And the Lord, Lord means God, Rabb. And the Lord visited Sarah, like you go and visit your girlfriend. Hmm? Then I'm reading. And the Lord visited Sarah, and as he had said, he had promised her that I'm going to come and see you again. You know, next year, this time, this is a long story, a few chapters before you will learn that Allah, Allah bari ta'ala, astaghfirullah, and two angels came to visit Ibrahim on the way to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. They came to visit him. So he was sitting, standing outside a tree, uh, under a tree, and he sees these three persons coming. So he's very happy, visitors coming, you know, in the desert, his house, lonely person, <laughs> and then he, he says, wash your feet, and he 
sacrifice a fatted calf and he told his wife, gave her some flour and says with some uh, butter, make some buns and they said, prepare the table. So they prepared the table. They sat down to eat. And Allah and the two angels, they act. The buns and the beef, they act. Allah tells in the Quran, almost the identical story, but it says that three angels came. And Ibrahim al-Islam did all this. And they sat down to eat. And when they sat down to eat, like Ibrahim al would say, Bismillah, get started. So everybody around the table starts eating, except the three. They're just watching, staring at Ibrahim al -Salam and the others. And Ibrahim al is terrified. You come to my house, I prepare the table, and you're not eating, you must have some evil intention. Maybe to abduct my wife or to kill me, steal my flock, what? Why did you come? He's terrified. So the angels apprehend the fear. So they say, we are the angels of the Lord, and this is not our nourishment. That's what the Quran says. The Bible says, not three angels, it's the two angels and God. They came, these three, and they all act. Broil fish and honeycomb like, you know. <laughs> now, he's telling Ibrahim, he says, you know, in the Bible, he says, this Sarah, woman of yours, I'm going to also give her a son. And Sarah is listening from behind the tent. So she giggles, laughs. <laughs> Me, an old woman, and this husband of mine also finished our old crop. What am I going to have a son? So she laughs. So the Lord says, God, God says, you laughed. He says, no, I didn't. He says, yes, you did. Argument between Allah and Sarah. So he said, look, next year, this time, I am going to come along and give you this child that I promise you. Nine months time. So he comes after nine months. This is now nine months time. He comes, returns. Allah comes again. Astaghfirullah. He comes. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. He did to her what he had spoken. So I'll do to you, he did it. And Sarah conceived. Instead of Lord and Sarah, let's talk about Samson and Delilah. And Samson visited Delilah. Look, it'll be easier for you to follow. The Christian. Or Swagat visited Murphy, Barbara Murphy. <laughs> And Swagard visited Murphy, as he had said. And Swagard did unto uh, Murphy, as he had spoken. And Murphy conceived. She became pregnant. What did Swagard do to Murphy? What did he do? This is what the Lord is doing. This is the Holy Bible. You know that? And you called it Injil. You said Injil. This Injil? And there's so many other things, Wallah. Man, I want to arm you people. Don't be punching bags for people that come and practice on you. They come and shit on your head. Learn to defend yourself and turn the tables. And with nothing, you don't have to use the Quran. Don't take the Quran. It's too holy. Let it lie on the shelf on the top. It's too sacred to bring into the battle. Use his own book. And Allah is telling you, Kul hatu burhana. Anything the guy claims, man, asking for this burhan. He's produced it for you in 2,000 different languages, 11 for you Arabs alone. That means Allah expects you to analyze it. So once you analyze it, not to swallow it, He's asking you to demand proof. When proof is produced, what do you do? You analyze it. And once you analyze it, you find He is a sitting target, sitting duck for you, instead of you at the moment you are for Him.